The Sun Coast is home to many species of birds, osprey, great horned owls, brown pelicans, herons, hawks, and sandhill cranes, to name a few. But we're also the land of many golf courses, great fishing waters, and roads which take us very close to nature. These last three have become the enemy to our local wildlife birds. The first step is that we get a call about an injured bird, and then we send out a rescuer and bring that bird in and do everything we can to rehabilitate and release that bird. And if the bird is non-releasable for whatever reason, then we give them a permanent home right here in our Wild Bird Learning Center. So they stay here forever. They stay here forever. <laughs> Over 100 people keep this refuge running with some volunteers even creating some special medical assistance for the injured. The three most common injuries that we see are um, caused by fish hooks, mm. automobiles, and golf balls. Oh. Golf balls oh, is the awful. one that, yeah, everyone's always surprised by that, but uh, sandhill cranes tend to congregate on golf courses. Uh, they have all of the elements that they like in nature, uh, the bugs, the grass, the sand, um, and unfortunately they don't understand the word for. <laughs> and so uh, people, when they tee off into a, a flock of sandhill cranes, they often get hit by a golf ball at very high speed. The birds stay in natural habitat. Where we had a bunch of Rotarians come in and, and uh, ripped out all of our non-native plants and put in native plants. And um, so that was phase one of a three-phase project. Phase th so the first phase was all the native plants along our bird walk. Phase two is underway and almost complete where we're putting native plants inside the habitats to make them more natural. However, out of all of the birds who call the Sun Coast home, the brown pelican is the most common bird who gets himself into trouble. Well, it depends on what type of species um, you're talking about. Like if it was a pelican and it got uh, hook and line. Usually we try to bring them in and treat and release. We unhook them and get them back out in the wild. We don't want to stress them. We don't want them to be in captivity longer than they need to be. When you uh, hook a bird, you want to make sure that you reel them in and not cut the line. The fishing line, the amount of filament will wrap around the bird's body and they can get entangled in the mangrove. While Save Our Seabirds' main concentration is on rescue, rehabilitation, and release, they also provide wildlife education and research and participate in oil spill response. Walking this beautiful facility and feeling the serenity which is created we concluded that SOS doesn't always mean disaster. For the birds who are treated and housed here, SOS, Save Our Seabirds, is a safe haven.